is Kate Whiting with Cherry Pie, a 1973 Kenworth. She's been just a, a pride and joy for a couple years here. I picked her up in 16 and she started out as just a day cab. I was just tootling down a country road and seeing her sitting in a, someone's driveway and pulled in and it was the original owner. He was in his 80s. About a year later, I was able to convince him to sell the truck. My first introduction to trucking was, oh my gosh, 14, 2014, I attended the Eau Claire Big Rig Truck Show um, as a health coach, just to help truckers with their med cards. Was blown away, absolutely blown away at what I seen, the people, the trucks, the personalities. It was just incredible, and I just wanted to be a part of that world. And one of the other drivers, Jerry Lenander, said, if you love this, you're going to want to check out Casson. So I went tootling down to Casson because I'm in northern Wisconsin and this is mid Minnesota. I couldn't believe it, like 600 trucks. It's just, and, and I honestly, I do not know anything about trucks. And then spring of 2015, Jerry gave me a shout because he then had helped me with my continue with truckers and coaching after that. Got to meet a lot of people at these truck shows. He said, would you like to come help me with my show truck in 2015 in Huron? And that's when I got my eyes set on my first uh -oh. A. <laughs> that's when I seen a first A that I just went, <gasps> and it was Clyde's. Out of, I believe he's out of Wyoming. Yeah, right? Clyde Green. Yes, it's yeah. his A. And I was just like, oh, and I had no idea what it was. I just like, that is like, I love that truck. And, and Jerry explained to me what that truck was. And so, you know, not long after that, I'm driving down a backcountry road and I drive past this truck and, and stopped in and talked and then called Jerry on the way home. And I said, I just seen a truck and it's this and this and this. And, and I said, and it's got a 34 and I paused a minute and he says, oh, six. And I'm like, no, pretty sure she's a 36. So eight. And he's like, uh, uh, <laughs> still don't have a CDL at this point. Still just working as a health coach. And I'm like, yeah, it's got twin sticks. There's like two of them there. So I did a couple more shows after that with him. So that would have been 15. So that's when I first seen the truck. In 16, I bought the truck. Still don't have my CDL. The fall of 2016, I got my CDL. Drove for locally with a recycling company. Two years with recycling truck. And then Jerry says, how about you go for your own authority? I bought a straight truck and got my own authority and started hauling furniture locally, like out of from Amish places and, and uh, to the stores, because I have a lot of little stores up here in Northern Wisconsin that worked great with a straight truck. After a couple years with a straight truck, I graduated then to driving a W900 day cab on a daily basis. And it's just, it's amazing. Awesome. It's absolutely amazing. And so this pretty girl here, Cherry Pie gets She's retired. She just gets to look look pretty. And uh, Scarlett, the truck at home, is the one that makes the money. Have you taken her to Casson? I did pull her at Casson as a not pretty like this, but when she was just her day cab. Cherry Pie, I pulled her. I was just so nervous. <laughs> so nervous doing it, but it was a blast. And then I pulled it one more time at Butterfield and then Lansing. We won't pull her anymore now that everything's all prettied up and this weekend you know, protect things with it. Awesome. Well, yes. all the best. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, just seeing the truck, so I talked to him, and the year later I was able to bring her home. This is what the hood looked like when she came home, and that's what it looked like buffed out, just buffing it. So this is the original paint? No, it's not. Oh, okay. We just wanted to match it when we bought the bunk. Yeah. Because it was just a day cab.